closer than around a round of white phosphorus. That was SOP with us. If we didn't blow them up, we'd fry them. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And then many times the infantry, after they went to secure the building, they said, Lieutenant, you really busted up those civilians. Well, that's collateral damage. Thank God we didn't have CNN with us and everything else back then. But whatever to the news, otherwise we'd have been blamed for butchering civilians and everything else. But I'm so glad we did not have that media up front. Thank God. And I'm kidding the government. So will you join me in prayer? <laughs> Heavenly and most gracious Father, we thank thee for this lovely day in which we come here to honor our fallen war dead as well as the veterans who are buried here today mm. who served so courageously for our country. We thank thee for their valor and for their efforts in our behalf. And we thank thee, dear Lord, for everyone that is here today that is supporting to us. We ask thee to be with our Gold Star families, as I know how hard it is for them to relive the, relive the day when they got the news of their son or, or husband or brother being killed in a foreign battlefield. We ask thee to be with all our fallen heroes and to cherish their memories and to pass it on, and to, because without them, we would not be able to enjoy the freedom we thank thee for the for valor and the, and the intelligence and the preparedness of all those soldiers and, so, and women soldiers that are serving us who in the battlefields today in Afghanistan and elsewhere. We ask that you be with them, to guide them, and to bring as many as they want as safely as possible. We say and ask all of these things in thy before I close, I will ask thy, thy blessing upon thy, thy, the food that is prepared, prepared for us. Dear God, please bless the food that has been prepared for us, the hands that prepared it, to our use and thus to thy service. In thy holy name. Amen. Amen.